Hello Play The Games, it's Boobity2 here and welcome back to Play The Game Central and today we are going to be decoding the bits of paper which are located around the map with random bits of shit on it and no one really, you can't understand what it says unless you decode it and we have decoded it and all of the details in order to decode it will be in the description and uh, the keys which you have to use to decode these are we were there at the beginning and at the end and some of the keys you have to like repeat that several times which is really weird but can't do much about that so whatever um, but there are three different bits of paper around the map and there is one inside of Thor's head, one in the workshop behind the poster, which is a very tricky one actually, and also one in the church, just outside the church, when you uh, go in towards where the lightning staff part is, just before you go into that actual room outside on the fence to your right, there should be another um, piece of paper. I'm going to be reading out to you uh, these things, and I'm going to be explaining what I think that they're talking about and any specific little details, because there is one thing which I'll be going over in the church cipher, which I'll go into last, um, because there is something quite interesting which I would like to put a spin on. So here we go. Thor's cipher reads, The breadth of the ancients' knowledge is humbling. I find myself questioning not only my understanding of the scientific world, but also the true nature of the universe itself. For the first time in my adult life, I find myself open to the possibility of a higher power. Now, this is from the perspective of Maxis, and it seems that when he started on this project at the excavation site, he started to believe in some form of God, some kind of almighty entity, because all this stuff which he's found inside of the uh, tomb in implies that there is some kind of uh, higher power of some kind like uh, a god or just aliens because there are lots of um, details about alien technology pretty much everywhere in the um, you know in the world and in the storyline and all that kind of stuff like the uh, pyramids there are like three separate massive kind of pyramids and there's one in the Bermuda Triangle as well I remember reading something up about that but Maxis is trying to um, he's not trying to, he's imagining something bigger in the world, and in Rick Toffen's, um dialogue sometimes he does tend to worry about Maxis' uh, mental health just because, um, you know, he's discovering all this shit and he is getting a little bit crazy in the brain. But um, then we'll move on to the next one, which is the workshop cipher. Though Edward's work was integral to our initial analysis of Divinium, the rift between us grows deeper each day. I fear his loyalties lay only with Group 935 and their insatiable desire for yet more devastating weaponry. I myself can no longer continue on this path in all conscience. Though my actions will inevitably be viewed as treason, I am more concerned with just how Edward will react when I tell him of my contact with the Allies. Now, the one thing that I think of when I'm reading through this is the one radio in Kino de Toten where Maxis seems to be, like, it has a change of accent, and apparently what he was doing before was that he invented the Thunder Gun, and the Thunder Gun was something which the Russians developed, and that could be something to do with this. He could have um, betrayed the, um, the Group 935 and betrayed the German force and um, just tried to hamper them in some way. And it kind of makes sense because Edward uh, and um, Maxis were uh, kind of had different opinions during the Darius slash Moon times, and back in you know the 40s or in the future of the 40s because Origins is in World War One, Maxis wanted to advance the human condition, and Edward wanted to essentially have Germany rule the world. And that is two completely different things. Maxis was more of a globally greater good, whereas Richthofen was more of a good-for-one kind of society. And that's that. So then we're going to move on to the next one, which is in the church area. From his very first day studying at Heidelberg, Edward displayed an intellect and maturity well beyond his years. However, the impact of his parents' death has affected him deeply. Though I have tried to provide him with some sort of father figure, I fear my choices may increasingly be influenced by his newfound friends within Group 935. Now, you would imagine that at some point during World War I and before them, uh, Rick Toffen was um, doing this stuff in, like, being invested in Group 935, and then his parents died, and then that made his mind go a little bit weird, and he kind of, like, got attached into... Um, not attached into, ew, attached to Maxis in some kind of way. Or at least Maxis tried to make that happen. But the thing which I think that we're missing here is 
that you have to understand that this whole thing in Origins is imagination. That pretty much explains the entire storyline. But there are two separate worlds going on. There's the world inside of Samantha's mind, and there's also the real world. And what I like to think is that this is actually a kind of meta um, text. And I think that this is actually Max is talking from a real world perspective about Edward, who is really young. I mean, Edward is like, I don't know, about 12, 13, 14 years old, something like that. And as it says in the cipher, uh, intellect and maturity well beyond his years. And he could be, because uh, he was adopted into that family. He was, um, you know, it was, Samantha was, is an American girl, and she's been, uh, she is the actual daughter of Maxis, because Edward says, you better do what your father says. He doesn't say, our father, and it just seems weird that there is a young boy in pyjamas at a house. It could just be a sleepover, but I would like to think that this is actually a real-world thing, and that Edward's parents did die, and then Max has adopted him into the family. And through that, Edward's got into the Group 935 stuff, and that is his newfound friends, is that he's getting into that kind of group. And that's just what I like to think. I think that is a meta... Um, kind of um, key, a meta bit of text which Maxis was actually thinking of in the real world, but I could be completely wrong, but that's it. So thank you all for watching, hopefully you have enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember to leave a like if you'd be so kind as to do so. Also remember to be subscribed if not subscribed already, because it's Play the Game, obviously, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.